Hey guys, um, I've gotten a lot of requests from you to uh, do a skincare video or um, answer some questions, secrets, what your, what's your secret, questions like that. And I'm really challenged to get this, I've done this video like three times and I cannot get it under 10 minutes, so I'm going to start now. Um, <clears throat> first of all, it's no secret, <laughs> um, I think beauty comes from within and I know that's cliche but I really do believe it and I know sometimes if you're not feeling well um, whether it's physically or emotionally you won't look like you're feeling well either so it definitely makes a difference and sometimes if you're not feeling well you pull yourself up you put on some makeup you do your hair and all of a sudden you start feeling a little better so um, it works both ways so um, just to be happy. Choose happiness. That's what I suggest. Just choose it. Just even if it doesn't feel right, just do it anyway. Um, if you want to look younger. <laughs> um, so there's no secret. But I will tell you that I work extremely, extremely hard to um, keep my skin looking good, looking fresh, making sure that I cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize, all that stuff because the makeup will only look as good as the skin underneath it and that is the truth. I mean you can search for the perfect foundation that's going to hide everything but it's only going to look as good as your skin does underneath. So there are really um, three components that you want to do and the first is to cleanse and get all the dirt and debris off of your face. Um, don't ever go to sleep with your makeup on. I don't care how much you've had to drink or if you fell asleep on the couch and it's 3 in the morning, go into the bathroom as hard as it might be and wash your face. They make the makeup wipes now, which are not the greatest thing to remove all of the dirt and debris off of your face, but at least it's something. Uh, remove all your eye makeup. Get everything off. Um, which part of that uh, cleansing includes um, exfoliating. Um, if you don't get all the dirt and debris off of your face and you don't exfoliate and get all the dead skin off, uh, your moisturizer, regardless if you pay two, three hundred dollars, if you go to Sicily or you go to the drugstore to get it, um, it's uh, in Sicily's a skincare line. <laughs> It's not going to absorb into the skin because it can't get to the skin, so it can't do its job. That is so, so important. Um, people ask me what kind of cream I use. It really doesn't matter what kind of cream I use. If I used oil of Olay or, like I said, something really expensive, it wouldn't matter unless I cleanse and exfoliated. Uh, so that's just super important. Um, also, you want to... Um, Reduce the appearance of wrinkles, and basically how you do that is just moisturizing. And again, like I said, they two go hand in hand. So if you don't cleanse and exfoliate, moisturizer is pointless. So moisturizer is really important. I like a really a heavy moisturizer. Um, so instead of having to buy one moisturizer for the evening, where you know you want it maybe more emollient, more heavy. Um, what I do is in the morning, I'll put a little bit in my hand and put some toner, alcohol-free toner, and I use a Neutrogena alcohol-free toner, and I'll mix a little of that into the uh, moisturizer so it's um, not as heavy. It's a little more sheer coverage. Um, you can also mix some of your foundation in it if you want to, or mix your moisturizer in your foundation to kind of give you a more dewy look or more moisturized skin and then do your concealer on top of that. There's all sorts of things that you can do to kind of create that moisture in your skin because it will help you look younger. Embrace the dewiness. It's okay. I know some people think it's oily. I like to call it dewy. <laughs> so leave it alone. It's good. It makes your skin look younger. Um, under the eyes, if you're over the age of 18, you should be using an eye cream. Um, the eye, the skin underneath your eye is completely different than the skin on the rest of your face. So make sure that you're using a separate eye cream, uh, whether it's anti-wrinkle or just um, a moisturizer uh, for under the eye. Um, 
I think the creamier it is, um, I don't like those filmy gel type products, the creamier it is, um, the more it's going to reduce the appearance of lines. Um, in terms of preventing any more wrinkles, you definitely want to use an SPF. You don't want to get your face in the sun. I lay in the tanning bed and I completely cover my face with towels. I do not get my face into the sun because trust me, it will catch up with you. It's not worth it. You can create any shade that you want for your skin. You can get that sunburned look with products. You don't need to get the sun on your face um, because it may look good now, but it's really, really, you're not doing yourself any favors. So that's very important. Uh, then you want to kind of promote new skin cell growth, which is those plump skin cells that are like 18 year old skin cells. And in order to do that, um, you need some sort of collagen booster or something like that. I don't like any of these serums or anything like that. You just burn my face. Anything that burns your face or that turns your skin red, anything like that is not good, in my opinion. That's just been my experience. Um, some people just rub the heck out of their skin and scrub it and I just, it just wears it. It really, really wears it and it will start to show after time. It's not cute. Don't do that. Be gentle on your skin, but cleanse, exfoliate, moisturize. I can't say that enough times. So um, that's really the secret and it's no secret. I mean, you probably know this already. Um, if your mother hasn't told you, your doctor's probably told you, or your dermatologist, or your best friend, um, or another guru has maybe mentioned these things to you. So, um, like I said, grocery store products, drugstore products, top of the line, uh, cosmetic companies, it doesn't matter as long as you hit those three things, the dirt and debris, the wrinkled skin, and protecting the new skin cells so that they don't turn to recalls. You wanna keep looking, keep them looking as young as possible, as long as possible. I really feel like I'm rambling at this point and I'm at seven minutes and 32 seconds, yay. Um, also, since I have like a couple minutes, um, there's some tips and techniques uh, using makeup that you can do to kind of uh, give a younger appearance. You wanna make sure that your eyebrows are a little bit thicker um, in width this way because um, thinner eyebrows will tend to make you look older so make sure just keep them thicker you can have them thin here at the arch but make sure they're thicker inside um, a false eyelash like a half lash here on the end will give the illusion of a lift um, kind of winging up your shadows will give the illusion of a lift um, I have several techniques for all different sorts of eye shapes um, face shapes and things like that that I use on customers or clients um, to give the illusion of that pretty almond eye. And if you guys want me to do a video on those types of things or you want to send me a picture of yourself, I can give you some suggestions in terms of placement for your makeup that might um, help you to look a little bit younger. Uh, or just be the most complimentary um, on your skin or uh, for the shape of your eye. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, if you guys have any questions about anything, please ask me. I'm an open book. Uh, I'll share anything that I know or that I've um, experienced with you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.